Valenta Cart has been designed to seamlessly integrate into the Raster Manager, and all of its toolboxes, menus, and dialogues are consistent with MicroStation's conventions. For this reason, Descartes can be described as an editing extension to the Raster Manager. But Descartes isn't only integrated with Raster Manager, it's also integrated with Core MicroStation and uses the same element selection tool and element information dialog. When Bentley Descartes is loaded, rasters behave like design elements. This means you can select rasters using the MicroStation Element Selection tool, put them on a level, add images to a selection set, and apply MicroStation tools such as Move and Scale on images. In addition, the work that you do to images is fully supported by MicroStation's Undo and Redo tools. Bentley Descartes provides a rich set of tools to edit binary images. Touch-up tools remove unwanted pixels from an image to improve the overall quality of the image. The dynamic binary raster snap is designed to assist with the placement of data points on displayed binary raster images and shares many of the components that are also found in MicroStation's AccuSnap. The Cut, Copy, Paste tools are used to cut, copy, and paste regions of images via the system clipboard. Since these tools use the Windows clipboard, it's possible to copy and paste rasters to and from third-party applications. You can also paste regions of images to new images. Or paste entire files into an existing image. Bentley Descartes also has local transform tools that are designed to perform local transformations inside a raster, meaning that all the data used with these tools come and go to the same raster. These tools are often associated with editing binary images, although they can be used on any number of supported image types.
Does Bentley Descartes work only with raster data? Well, of course not. Descartes is often a bridge between vector elements and raster images. The rasterized tools are used to stamp design vector elements into raster images into, in the specified view. These tools are tightly integrated with MicroStation's element creation tools, so there's no need for a separate set of tools in order to draw on images. The corridor tool merges rasters from a source polygon to create a new raster that's transformed to fit a destination polygon. And the Cover Up and Clone Area tools provide a one-stop copy-paste solution for editing image areas. The tools in the mosaic toolbox will help you balance the tone between all images and create a mosaic by cutting the overlapping sections and applying feathering to hide the seam. One of the easiest ways to improve the realism of a 3D SID model is to add textures or images of the existing buildings to the model. Bentley Descartes includes new tools to simplify this process. Images are associated to building faces and then rectified to match that face. They are then stored as advanced textures to improve realism.
Bentley Descartes Select Series 3 introduces an exciting new capability called Scalable Terrain Model, which allows you to view digital terrain models at super huge geospatial scales, such as cities, regions, provinces, and countries. This eliminates the problem of working with non-scalable civil DTMs, which are often not designed for geospatial workflows. For example, a civil DTM shows all elevation points at all times, whereas an STM, or scalable terrain model, only shows all points when you're completely zoomed in. Here we're looking at a scalable terrain model that covers approximately 960 square kilometers and is made up of 639 million points as shown in the element information dialog. With that many points, you'd think there would be substantially more triangles. And there are, but they'll only display as you zoom in. Watch as I zoom in about a static point. With each view update, more triangles are displayed on the view. With Bentley Descartes Select Series 3 and Bentley Map Enterprise, you'll be able to create scalable terrain models from LiDAR, civil DTMs, XYZ point files, and raster DEMs. You'll be able to view an STM in 2D as well as 3D, and always ensure that the model is up to date by using a synchronization workflow with the provenance of the source files. In other words, if the source files are changed, then the STM status will be flagged as needing to be updated. This can be seen in the Scalable Terrain Model dialog, which is modeled after the Raster Manager. Scalable Terrain Models support a variety of display modes, such as contours, triangles, and thematic displays. The symbology of contours can be adjusted via the element information dialog. And the contours can be labeled with MicroStation's Label Terrain Contours tool. We can also apply a thematic display to the view to clearly indicate the elevations. To do that, I'll smooth the display a bit by lowering the display density from 100, pardon me, from 80 to 50. The color scheme used for the thematic display is set via the Display Styles dialog. And lastly, let's take a look at the draped images. Again, I'm going to lower the view display density a bit to ensure that I'm getting a reasonable display speed. What you're looking at here is 583 TIFF images that are 10,000 by 10,000 pixels for a total of about 27 gigabytes of data. Scalable terrain models enables high-performance display of your terrain models covering very large areas and containing billions of points.
This allows you to save time by displaying very large seamless terrain models by enabling unprecedented workflows that deal with very wide areas. Scalable terrain model comes with high resolution draping capabilities that allow you to display raster backdrops on the terrain model with extremely good resolution regardless of the terrain model or image size.